We've made this the right size. The next thing to do is to heat it up. I'm gonna use this hot air gun that I borrowed from dad. Thanks dad for letting me use your hot air gun. But I realized not everyone's gonna be able to borrow my dad's hot air gun. So I thought we'll do a little experiment and see if we can use the things that we've got at home. So on this piece, I'm gonna try it with the hairdryer. On this piece, I'm gonna try it with the iron and see how we get on. Use a putty knife or a scraper or something flat like this and work it in there between the laminate and the timber. Don't put too much angle on here because it will break and it'll crack really easily. All right, let's give the hairdryer a whirl. Oh, it's looking good. Might work. Do you know what? That's, that's as good as the hot air gun. Hair dryer for the win. Now let's try out the iron. I've just got this on a uh, cotton setting, no steam. Okay, that's been about one minute. Let's see how we go. It's very hot. Oh, ooh, ooh. Okay, be careful when you touch the top of it after the iron because that is super hot. That's worked well. Oh, that's good to know. Hot air gun, hair dryer, and iron set on cotton setting. They all worked well. Iron for the win. Hopefully that helps you out with your project. If you like this kind of content, check out my other video, how to install a laminate edge strip using an offcut. If you can't find it there, I'll add a link to that video in the description below. Check it out and I'll see you there.